Hello everyone, this is DA from A Academy and today we are going to see the next theorem about the connected space that is known as Intermediate Value Theorem. This theorem is really useful in calculus and in topological space we will see how we can prove this in terms of the connected spaces. So the statement of the theorem is if we have a continuous function from real line to the real line and the very important thing about the real line is that it is a connected space and how it is a connected space the we know are that is real line is from minus infinity to infinity and we have no any disconnection in R in real line such that we say that the intersection of the two AB that are the disconnection or the open subsets of R is empty and whose union is R and they are both open subsets so there is no any disconnection in R and because of the structure of the R because from minus infinity to infinity so that's why it is a connected space so the very first thing in the statement is that we have a function that is continuous from real line to real line and so the function f from this R to f of R and both are real lines so the statement have that we have a continuous function from R to R, from R to F of R. And if we take any two elements in F of R such that X1 is smaller than X2, then by the intermediate value theorem, there must be an element in between X and X1 and X2 that it must be here somewhere in between X1 and X2 and this y is meant to be an image of any element in this r so we can say there is a small r in r whose image is y so again summing up what is the statement of the intermediate value theorem is that if we have a continuous function from r to r and there is two elements from f of r such that x1 is smaller than x2 so if we take any element in between the two elements x1 and x2 such that x1 is smaller than y and y is smaller than x2 and there must be an element in the space r such that the image of r is that element y that was taken in between x1 and x2 so this is the statement and now we'll moving towards the proof so as we know that R is a connected space and we have seen in the very first theorem is that the continuous image of a connected space is also connected. So if it is a connected space, we have a continuous function, then f of R is also a connected space. So we have two connected spaces R and f of R. So this is by definition of R. And now we'll use the concept of contradiction here that there is no any element in R such that whose image is Y. So this is our assumption right now to prove that there is an R whose image is Y. And if Y is an element and Y is not an image of any element in R. So by our assumption that Y is not an image of any element in R. So if this happens, then we know that every element in between x2 and y is the element that is the image of elements of R. And elements that are above x2 are also the images of elements in R. And the same case here that elements between y and x1 and elements are here x1 that are below x1 are the images of R. So from this we can form two subsets, the very first subset that contains the images of elements of R that are in between Y and below negative infinity. And the second subset was from Y to the above positive infinities that contains the images of elements of R. So we can write this as, so A is equal to f of r intersection minus infinity to y and the b is equal to f of r intersection y to positive infinity 
why we take the intersection of f of r here the reason is that because we are specifically dealing with the images of r we know that images of r is also r as the function goes from r to r so that is why we are only specifically dealing with the images and that is why we take the intersection of f of r that is images of the elements of r with the open interval from y to positive infinity and the negative infinity to y so now these both subsets a and b are open subsets by definition and they both are disjoint as we have seen here and obviously the union of a and b equals to f of r so these three properties are of a disconnection of of that space f of r so we can say that a and b is a disconnection for f of r and this thing implies that f of r is a disconnected space and this is a contradiction because we have seen that f of r is a connected space why it is a connected space because r is a connected space and f that is a continuous function so by the theorem of the connected space that continuous image of a connected space is also connected so initially we have a connected space and by assuming that there is no any r whose image is y we have a contradiction here so this thing implies that our assumption that there is no any element in r whose image is y is wrong and the theorem is proved here that if we take any element in between two elements then there must be an element in r whose image is that element that was taken from in between the two elements so this is the intermediate theorem in the terms of the connected spaces and this is for now if you're looking for more such videos so you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye